Bali is one of the most popular islands, and there is a reason for it. Since drenched in oceans and beaches, it is a hub of water sports. Addicts from around the world fly here to take adventures in the most beautiful backdrop. Moreover, adventure sports are also quite common here. It could take you to heights that you look at an island from a very different and unusual angle. And after getting tired from all of these, you can reside in one of the most amazing beach resorts. Not to mention, Bali is world famous for its warm hospitality. Welcome to Pomox Travel. Today, we are going to discover the best 10 things to do on Bali Island. Let's enjoy the video. First thing, surfing at Kuta. If you are an adventure sports enthusiast and are looking for things to do in Bali, then Kuta is the place. What started as a small fishing village is today a major surf destination in the country. Both amateurs and professional surfers flock to the place to enjoy the thrills of surfing. Both Kuta Beach and Kuta Reef offer excellent surfing opportunities to both new and experienced surfers. There are also many local surf schools providing lessons if you decide to learn once you are there. The beach also has many places where you can rent a surfboard on an hourly basis. Second thing, explore Bali Safari and Marine Park. Visit one of the most exciting animals-themed parks to enjoy a mesmerizing day at Bali Safari and Marine Park. It boasts of being a habitat to more than 60 species where one can find a chance to explore these enticing natural creatures in their natural habitat. Some of the interesting activities that you can indulge in at Bali Safari and Marine Park are a safari bus ride, elephant talent shows, watching the playfulness of baby sharks, getting a closer look at the lively orangutans, etc. Third thing, swoosh on the Bali swing. Melt your heart away with the breathtakingly beautiful views of the entire island with the exclusive version of Bali Adventure Tours, the Bali Swing. You might have dreamt about swinging in between the clouds, but this is the place where you can live your dream and take a bird's eye view of the city. Ranging from 10 to as high as 78 meters, here you can select the swing height and enjoy the Instagram-worthy spot of Bali. Fourth thing, drink from the waters at Goa Gaha. The Goa Gaha Temple and caves overlook the Petanu River and house Buddhist rock-cut stupas in statues and monk chambers. Constructed in the 11th century, the temple also houses a wooden Lord Ganesha statue. The holy water source is divided into three compartments, including one sacred bathing pool which is believed to absolve you of your sins. The temple boasts of its rich reflections of Shaivism and Buddhism, making the air around the temple spiritual and the atmosphere pious. It is a must-visit place in Bali for spiritual travelers and history enthusiasts. Fifth thing, go for a splash at Waterbomb. There is no better place to beat the heat and make a splash with your family in Bali other than at Waterbomb. It is a water park sprawled over 3.8 hectares of tropical landscape with exciting water and land rides and plenty of dining options. The park has 17 water slides, water cannons, rides, rafts, and boogie boards, all built with adherence to the strictest international quality and safety standards. Apart from the rides and food, you can enjoy a refreshing drink at the swim up bar and go for a fish foot spa or reflexology among other activities. The water park is surely one of the most fun things to do in Bali. Sixth thing, have fun at Ubud Monkey Forest. Indulge in an interesting tour to appreciate the environment with a visit to Ubud Monkey Forest, which is one of the best tour spots in Ubud. Having more than 700 monkeys and a range of different species of trees, this place is famous for offering a fun-filled day to tourists. It is one of the most famous attractions in Ubud and is known for its community management program. Tourists here can marvel at the playfulness of the monkeys swinging from one tree to another and also visit the number of ancient temples that are located inside the forest. Seventh thing, pray at Limpuyang Temple. Lying 1,175 meters above sea level on Mount Lempuyang in East Bali, its namesake temple is amongst the oldest and most venerated sites in Bali. You have to climb over 1,700 steps to reach the temple and the path which is dotted by several other temples and gray long-tailed macaques. The higher you climb, the better the views get, making it a dream destination for avid photographers. Surrounded by cool mountains bustling with vegetation, the path itself is a big part of the experience. Once you reach the top, the serenity and mysticism of the temple envelop you, making it a memorable experience. 
eight things. Watch a kakak dance. The kakak dance is a Balinese Hindu form of dance and music drama that uses fire as its centerpiece prop, popularly known as fire dance. Developed in the 1930s in Bali, the art exhibits dance drama by human vocals instead of gamelan instruments, creating an engaging environment during the performance. Visit the Uluwatu Temple to witness the best kakak performance in Bali. Set amidst a high cliff on the seaside, the background of the setting sun will add unparalleled drama to the emotions you will experience. Ninth thing, cool off in infinity pools. If you are a lover of good infinity pools, then Bali will certainly not disappoint you. There is a host of pools to choose from, from probably the most famous one at Hanging Gardens, which faces the lush rainforests, to the beautiful pool at 180, Pikachu, which faces the blue ocean. Another infinity pool that serves staggering views is the pool at Moonduck Moating Plantation, Gobleg. You can sit and stare straight into the horizon with this pool. The Oasis is another standout infinity pool that flaunts traditional Balinese stone carvings. Tenth thing, ride a jetpack in Tanjung Banoa. Ever since they were invented by French waterman Frankie Zapata in 2012, Bali has seen an increasing interest in water jetpacks, and there is no better place to find these jetpacks or flyboards than at Bali's water sports playground Tanjung Banoa. You can levitate on these jetpacks as high as up to 15 meters above the water level. You can also perform various maneuvers like diving and breaching. Currently, you can try your hand at three different types of flyboards at Tangjung Banoa. Each ride lasts about 15 minutes along the coastline, allowing you to satiate the water enthusiast in you. I hope you enjoyed this video.